This video looks at Chapelfield Road, shown here in red. We'll also look at the continuation of the original road, now lost under the Grapes Hill Roundabout, shown in blue, and then we'll also dip into Coburg Street, which is shown in green. The gentle curve of Chapelfield Road is because it runs immediately outside the old city walls, with Coburg Street running just inside. Beginning on the left hand side as Chapelfield Road exits from the St Stephen Street roundabout, this is the scene in 1964 as the roundabout was being established. Looking at the left hand side of Chapelfield Road from St Stephen Street currently looks like this, with the scene immediately before the roundabout construction in 1963 looking like this. Continuing along Chapelfield Road, this is the Champion Pub as seen in 2004 together with the 2022 view. The champion in question was Daniel Mendoza, boxing champion of England from 1792 to 1795. He had visited the city in 1790. This is Chapelfield Road Methodist Church as seen in 1987. It had opened in 1881 with the foundation stone being laid by Jeremiah Coleman, mustard manufacturer and MP. Next and seen here in 1968 is the Crescent consisting of two terraces and a single house now divided in two and dating from the 1820s. This is Coach and Horses Row in 1962 leading through to Union Street and the Coach and Horses Pub which dates from around 1840. This is the junction of Chapelfield Road and Vauxhall Street as seen in 1965 and as seen today with the Roman Catholic Cathedral in the background. Now we go into the blue section formerly part of Chapelfield Road but now lost under the Grapes Hill development. At the very top of the current Grapes Hill was number 5 to 9 Chapelfield Road which was a convent and seen here in 1964. Opposite was this pub, the Volunteer Stores, which dated from 1867 until 1964, the 2022 location now looking like this. A line of stones in the Grapes Hill roundabout marks the site of the Chapelfield Road Drill Hall, opened in 1866 and seen here with air raid precautions for the Second World War. It was demolished in 1963. We're back on what we now understand as Chapelfield Road and looking at the city wall side. As this map of 1883 shows and I've highlighted in green, housing was actually attached to the city wall, seen here cleared in 1969 for the construction of the dual carriageway. As we move along towards St Stephen's, these images from 1964 show the housing before it was removed for road widening, followed by their removal in 1969, and the present day view, which has revealed large portions of the 13th century city wall. Let's retrace our steps a bit and look behind the wall at Coburg Street. This is the former Cayley's Chocolate Factory in 2003, followed by the present day view. A closer view of what is now the car park to Chantry Place reveals, there it is, the name Coburg Street remains as part of the new development. Present day Coburg Street really emphasises the contrast between the old city wall and the new housing and retail development. But as with Chapelfield Road, housing built into the wall had been demolished. This picture of that is from 1908. On the opposite side of Coburg Street, this is the Nestle Chocolate Factory as seen in 1996 and as seen from Chapelfield Road with the then newly exposed city wall in the foreground from 1969. This entrance to Chantry Place shopping centre follows the route of an old street called Starling Place and on its corner with Coburg Street was a pub called the William IV from 1833 to 1954. Here are a couple of shots of the city wall as seen from Coburg Street in the 1930s. This is the view looking back towards the William IV pub in 1936 
together with the present day equivalent. Looking in the opposite direction now looks like this and in 1937 it looked like this with the trumpet pub on the extreme right. In the late 1800s it seems Coburg Street was briefly known as Trumpet Lane after the pub. This is the trumpet in 1958 seen from what would become St Stephen's Roundabout. It was rebuilt in 1964, renamed Swifts in 1983 and closed in 1989. The chimney you can see is also seen in this 1955 photo which tells us the location of this car park in the 1950s. Finally a video on Chapelfield Park will be dealt with as a separate project.